Today's tactic is a little bit different than the usual. Usually we're very attacking, usually we're high pressing, but today we're gonna sit back a little. We're gonna focus on our defending and we're gonna hit teams on the break. So today we're gonna be looking at a 4 4 1 1 that's very heavily based on counter attacking. It's tested with Chanmere Rovers in League 2, Atletico Madrid in the La Liga. But we also done half a season with Everton just to see how it gets on in all different types of leagues. So in this video, we're going to break down the counter-attacking method. We're going to break down the tactic. We're also going to play a game to see how the tactic plays out. And then we're going to look at the results. But before we do, make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel if you like this content. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment as well. All of that's going to help the channel. But for now, let's get stuck in. A counter-attack is a fast and direct attack that occurs from a moment of transition and when counter-attacking, goals come from central areas rather than the ball being played out wide. Football is always about space. The more space one gets in possession, the higher the scoring chances. This is what counter-attacks benefit from. If a team providing full width and depth loses the ball, it misses compactness. Players will have more time on the ball, which increases the probability of correct decision making. A mid-press creates space behind the last line while the distance of the goal is not as great as in a low press. The mid press can create space behind the opposition back line compared to the high press. Another possible reason why a mid press might be useful is to decrease space behind the team's defensive line. If your own defenders are not fast enough to keep up pace with the opposition strikers, it would be very risky to use a very high defensive line. For a successful press, it is useful to guide the opposition into regions of the pitch. Dividing the pitch into centre, half space and the wings, these areas also bring advantages and disadvantages, such as the height of the press. While it's easier to press on the wing because of the options are limited through the touchline, pressing in the centre is far harder since the opposition can play in every direction which means that more passing options need to be shut down. Nevertheless, the distance to the opposition goal always plays an important role. The more central the press, the shorter distance to the opposition goal. Furthermore, it makes sense to adjust one strategy to fit one's formation and opposition. So that's the breakdown of the counter-attacking method. The full details can be found at totalfootballanalysis.com. The link will be in the description. But for now, let's go into Football Manager and let's break down this tactic. So welcome back, of course, here we are in the tactic creating screen and we're going to create this 4-4-1-1 and then play a game to see how the tactic plays out. Lastly, we're going to look at the results. So at first we can look at the shape, I've opted for a 4-4-1-1. I just find it very good at defending spaces. Of course, in central midfield, we can always have a central midfielder on the defensive duty, just covering that area in front of the defensive line. And then in the attacking midfield, we can always cover where the opposition's number six may just receive the ball. But what I'm actually looking for in possession is this 4-4-1-1 shape. But out of possession, I do want that attacking midfielder to join the striker in that first line of press and make it more of a 4-4-2. But to start off with that mentality, I think much going to go for the cautious mentality usually we go for something more positive like a positive mentality or the attacking one but today because we're focusing on that defensive shape and counter-attacking football we're going to opt for the cautious mentality now for counter-attacking football you don't have to use the cautious mentality attacking mentality works not just the same but it is also effective especially at getting players further forward and playing with a higher tempo so to play counter attack in football it's not a rule that you have to use a more negative mentality you can go for a more positive one if you wish but for this tactic we're going to go for the cautious mentality now when playing on the break i do find it vital to pass into space you don't want to be passing into players feet you want to get the ball into the path for players to run onto that way you can exploit any gaps or space that may be exposed for the dribbling, we're also going to run at the defence as well when the players have the ball. I want them to bring the ball further forward rather than trying to pass their way through the opposition. And because we're using a more cautious mentality, we may struggle at getting players further forward. So we're actually going to play for set pieces and this is a way to get players further forward. And that could be from throw-ins, from free kicks or even corners. That is a good way to get players further forward. For the passing directness or for the tempo, sorry, we can leave it on slightly lower or you can have it on higher. For me, I prefer it on higher because I do want those lightning attacks, but slightly lower, I did find out, works just as well. For the purpose of this video and tactic though, we're gonna leave it on higher because we want to focus on those lightning attacks. 
Now, in transition when the possession has been lost, we're going to regroup because we are focusing on that defensive shape. So we want players to be in their defensive position and once we lose the ball and when we've won the ball, we want the players to break and go on that counter attack. So in transition, we're going to regroup, make sure that we have a solid defensive shape. But once the ball has been won, we're going to break further forward, break our shape and try and expose the opposition. When the goalkeeper has the ball, the only thing that he's instructed to do is take short goal kicks. It's kind of a way to maintain the possession rather than kicking it long because that way the ball can just keep coming back we kick it long they win the header and it just keeps coming back we don't really want that to be happening 90 minutes during the game we don't want to defend 90 minutes during the game now for our possession things get a little bit more interesting for the defensive width we're going to force the opposition on the outside for the line of engagement we're going to leave it on standard so we're going to invite the pressure we're on cautious mentality as well so naturally off the ball we're going to be a little less aggressive and we're just going to allow the opposition to come at us but the defensive line is on higher so we're actually going to squeeze the pitch in the middle of the park so they're going to think that they can play through us but not really because we're defending high though we're allowing them to come into us we're going to defend high so really they could be just running into our defensive block we're going to use the offside trap as well so in case to try and play the more direct ball we can just squeeze up a little and try to catch the opponents offside but again during the 90 minutes we don't just want to sit back for the whole game and just invite pressure and get deeper and deeper into our own box actually we're going to defend higher than usual not very high of course but just higher than usual and we're going to invite the pressure as well for the trigger press we're going to use more often so once they breach our line of engagement again we're not just allowing them to play we're actually going to put pressure on them to force that counter attack we're going to prevent the short goalkeeper distribution as well we just don't want to allow the opposing team to play out from the back and we're also going to get stuck in so there we are that is the kind of attacking team instructions things can be tweaked of course once you are watching the game you might have a feel of what needs to be tweaked it may be that you need to reduce the tempo because you're losing the ball too often or if you are using a slightly lower tempo maybe you need to increase it but now it's time for the player roles so in goal which is using that standard goalkeeper in central defense we're using two standard central defenders as well nothing too fancy but what i do want from my central defenders is to be more aggressive off the ball the reason why I had them on tackle harder or why I have them on tackle harder is because get stuck in wasn't originally on then I turned it on after but just in case it messes anything up which is going to leave the tackle harder on the central defenders for the wing backs or the full backs both of them are wing backs but the left back is going to be the wing back on the defensive duty he's going to sit more narrow and he's also going to tackle harder whilst the full back on the right is going to have the wing back role but with the automatic duty this time again he's going to be sitting more narrow he's going to be tackling harder but this time he's going to cross from the byline now in central midfield we do have the ball winning midfielder on the defensive duty so like i said a little earlier we can have a player on that defensive duty just protecting that back line and that is exactly what the ball winning midfielder is going to be doing his midfield partner is a box to box midfielder he's going to be roaming around from his position but he's also going to be moving into the channels on the flanks for the left winger he's going to be an inverted winger on the attacking duty he's going to be cutting inside and make sure we are penetrating in those central areas alongside the advanced forward we are going to be using advanced forward but the inverted winger he's going to be taking more risk because he's going to be our main creative player we don't really have a playmaker in this side and the inverted winger who's going to be operating in this sort of area is going to try and be that creative playmaker whilst on the right we do have a winger on the attacking duty he's basically just stretching the play for us in attacking midfield we do have a shadow striker now off the ball he's really going to work hard and he's kind of more important off the ball than he is when we are in possession because when we're off the ball he's got to be a little bit more aggressive and he's got to join that striker in the first line of press and make this shape more of a 4-4-2 he has no added instruction and the striker as well the advanced forward he has no added instruction and that there my friends is the tactic all wrapped up here is the 4-4-1-1 rdf's lightning speed tactic and now we're going to go into a game i believe we've got osasuna in the league at home with atletico madrid and what we're going to do is get into that game play the game and see how this tactic plays out so let's get stuck in to that game so this is the team that i've gone with at atletico madrid i mean it's kind of irrelevant this is the team let's get stuck into the game this should be an intriguing one and we're also going to use extended highlights today as well again 
Last time we used key, but I do feel like sometimes we miss a lot of the key highlight, actually, funny enough, because it is a kind of tactical analysis. So we want to look at the tactic, not just the goals. But obviously, we don't want to play too much of the game. Why am I talking so much? Let's put this in 2D Classic and let's get this game started. Here is Herrera with a goal kick for Osasuna. Are we going to win the ball? Yes, we do. Savage plays it back to All Black. Here's Jimenez, Savage. See, you don't necessarily have to have play out from the defence for your team to be playing out from the defence, as we can see here. Here is Jimenez on the ball now. Savage, who is kind of deep in his own half, but we do try and invite the opposition to press us, which is what we've kind of done there. There's Carrera now out on the right wing, puts the ball into the box. Crash goal, safe header there. 10 minutes in Kieran Trippier with the free kick now. Jao Felix Loriente. Go on, Trippier. Drive down that byline, son. Loriente, Savage. Jimenez now. Renan Lodic is out there, stretching the play. Nobody wants to pass it to him. Here's Carrasco now. Goes on the outside of the fullback. And Carrera. So again, another cross and another header straight to the goalkeeper's hands. But here is Kieran Trippier on the ball now. He's driving forward. Look at him go. Go on, Kieran. Here is Carrera now down the pilot. Oh, it was a good ball, but it just doesn't find an Atletico Madrid body. Osasuna tried to play the long ball over the top, but it is collected by All Black. Here's Jimenez on the ball now. Renan Lodi. He's driving forward. Go on defensive fullback or defensive wing back. Zhao Felix now in the box. Yannick Crasho has got to be a goal. Oh, come on, son. That was a very good chance. That should have been a goal. Are we going to win this in the end? Oh, no. He's beating us. Oh, come on, cheer it. Oh, what's going on there? Two awful headers from our defenders. Firstly, from the centre-back and then from Kieran Trippier. Osasuna could be 1-0 ahead. Kolke with the free kick now. Savage at the back post. Oh, Osasuna get it out. They're going on the counter-attack themselves, but Carrera with a decent tackle there. Here's Kolke. Loriente plays it back and plays it back again to Savage. Jimenez, you can play it to the left-back. Finally, here's Renan Lodi. He's driving now. He found Zhao Felix. There's a box. Carrera shot. Oh, what a save. Oh, what a save. We should have scored, but it was an excellent save. I can't believe we just missed that. Oh my days, it looks like we're going to go into half time at 0-0. I mean, we should be at least 1-0 up in this game. Free kick, I was just about to say goal kick. Are we going to intercept that? Yes, we are. Loriente, here's Griezmann now. A nice little Griezmann and it's a goal. He takes it round the goalkeeper and Griezmann puts it away. Atletico Madrid 1 and also soon a nil. Herrera with a goal kick, a nice little header there by Jao Felix into Loriente. He plays a nice free ball to Griezmann. Oh, it's a decent tackle there from David Garcia, but it goes into Griezmann's path and he just puts it into the back of the net. It's 1-0. Finally, we have breaking a deadlock and hopefully we can go on to score more goals. There's a lot of time to be played. Here's Lodi, Jimenez now. Don't shoot, boy. Here's Carrera in space and it's 2-0. The floodgates have opened now. Atletico Madrid 2, Osasuna 0. I don't know why I keep singing that part. But here's him as he finds a nice ball. Look, there's Carrera in space, out on that right flank in the box. Puts it away. But you can see here, look at the shots. We've just dominated the game with 11 on target, XG of 1.88. I mean, I believe it should be even more. That open goal itself which is ridiculous. Last three minutes now. It's a corner to Atletico Madrid. Are we going to get a third? Colke with a corner. Is he going to cross it or is he wasting time? He's wasting time, isn't he? Oh, should not have wasted time, son. Here's Osasuna on the break now. Let's, let's keep the clean sheet though, man. Let's keep the clean sheet tackling. Go into him, son. Let me ask a cross and old black. It's an easy catch. Hopefully that wasn't the highlight. Here's Renan Lodi. Crash goal. We didn't make a sub throughout the whole game. These players, oh Lord. He finds Carrera in space now. Whip that cross. That's not a whip, is it? It's more of a float, but it doesn't matter. Is it going to be offside? It usually is. It usually is when Griezmann scores a header. Goal check in. Oh, I thought it said allowed there. No, it's disallowed in the last minute. And it looks like we've only won 2-0 here. I mean, the scoreline, it could have been more. But it was a very, very good performance from Atletico Madrid here. Defensively, I mean, Osasuna hasn't given us any trouble, really. Apart from the long 
long key that they did at the beginning of the game but there that was two individual errors rather than a tactical error and here's just the replay i mean referee it's on the line but come on var man come on and we've won the game comfortably 2-0 to atletico madrid we've had 61 percent of the ball but that is how the tactic plays out now let's look at the results with tranmere atletico and half a season with everton So we're going to start off with Atletico Madrid and as you can see in La Liga we finished second but joint on points with Real Madrid, 93 points both of us but Real Madrid obviously won the competition. So if we look at the other competitions we got knocked out in the quarter final of the Champions League by Paris Saint-Germain. In the Copa del Rey we won that, who did we beat in the final? Athletic Bilbao 4-2 in the final and for the Supercopa de España we got knocked out in the semi-final by Real Madrid. Looking at some of the key stats in the league when it comes to the goals we scored the second most goals we did have the most shots for for the fewer shots against we come in second for the best pass completion not in the top eight most possession not in the top eight most tackles won though we are in third place for the most triples made we finished top most clean sheets of course is going to be us we are very solid defensively we got 22 clean sheets and for the fewest conceded we only conceded 24 goals in la liga Karashko was third with the top goal scorer for the most assists we have Colke in second place for the most key passes we have Colke again in third place best pass completion nobody there most tackles one Kieran Trippier for the most dribbles made Ren and Lodi so the right back made the most tackles the left back completed the most dribbles and our goalkeeper has the most clean sheets now let's look at the data hub our attacking efficiency we were aggressive and clinical with our shooting getting around 13.5 percent conversion Version rate for the defensive efficiency we were quiet and impenetrable as well exactly what we want to hear from a tactic that's focusing on the defensive shape for the defending we made fewer blocks and fewer clearances but for the tackling we made a lot of tackles and we were also strong in that area as well again very pleasing in possession we infrequently won the ball because mainly most of the time we were in the ball but we were reliable in possession and for the passing finally we made fewer passes and we were also inaccurate with our passing that could be down to the higher tempo so you can be losing the ball a lot trying to transition very very quickly but again we made score a lot of our goals from that exact instruction for the squad stats Griezmann scored 17 in all competitions Carrasco has 15 Luis Suarez has 14 and Jimenez has 10 but that there is the Atletico Madrid results now let's look at the Tranmere Rovers results Welcome back to the League 2 this time and you can see with Chalmer the results are way more impressive. We played 46 and we won the league finishing on 108 points which is 20 more than the team that finished second. So looking at the competitions we of course won the league in the MRS FA Cup we got knocked out in the first round by Stevenage Carabao Cup knocked out in the first round again so the counter-attacking football may not be too strong in cup competitions in the Papa John's trophy we got knocked out in the northern section whatever that means admittedly though in the cups I did play a weaker side because in the league I just wanted to have my best best team out and you can see why I wanted to have my best team out so for the stats for the most goals again we come in second place for the most shots four we come in third place this time with Tranmere Rovers but we do have the fewest shots against for the best pass completion surprisingly we finished top so you can see the difference in La Liga of course they're mainly focusing on possession play in the league two most teams are probably like us and which is the better of the counter-attacking teams for the most possession though we did finish in second place with 54% most tackles won Tranmere Rovers most dribbles made Tranmere Rovers most clean sheets Tranmere Rovers with 29 clean sheets and for the fewest conceded you guessed it top goal scorer Stefan Walker in second place with 22 goals scored in the league Kieran Morris and Callum McManaman in the top assist charts for the most shots I mean nobody's there but for the most key passes we do have Kieran Morris and for the best pass completion nobody there for the most tackles won we do have Leo Connor 
Kamara right back. Kieran Morris, who played left wing and left back. Callum McDonald as well. He played, I'm not sure, he played left back as well. For the most dribbles made, we do have Kieran Morris and Leo Connor in the list. For the most clean sheets, our goalkeeper Scott Davis with 29. And for the fewest conceded, it is Scott Davis with 23. Again, we can go to the data hub, the attacking efficiency, we were aggressive and we were clinical. For the defensive efficiency, similar to Atletico Madrid, we were very quiet and impenetrable. For the tackles, lots of tackles and strong tackling, again, very similar to Atletico Madrid and it shows how well this tactic is doing defensively. For the defending, again, similar, fewer blocks, fewer clearances. For the passing, this time we made a lot of passes and we we were also accurate. For the shot map, you can see where we are shooting. A lot of our shots come from inside of the box, but we are not afraid to shoot. And we do generally, if that thing is bothered to move, we do generally outperform our expected goals. So our expected goals is on 7.94, but we've actually scored nine goals. Lastly now, we're going to check the results with Everton and see how well they did in the 20 games or so in the Premier League. Now we're at Everton in the Premier League, of course we noticed that the season isn't complete. We've played 19, not 20, and we have 42 points on the board, currently second. I do have a feeling though, we will start to drop down the table. But we started the season pretty well, I mean we went away to Arsenal, we got absolutely hammered. But in fairness, we did go away to Chelsea. They did have a player sent off and we got a clean sheet there. We got a clean sheet against Manchester United as well. Against Tottenham, nah. Against Liverpool, not even. But against Manchester City, we did get another clean sheet. We got a lot of clean sheets, basically. If we go to the Premier League, go to the stats, you can see in 19 games, we do have 11 clean sheets, which is kind of, I wouldn't say unheard of for a counter-attacking team on Football Manager, but it is kind of unheard of. <laughs> we don't see a lot of counter-attacking tactics being shared and one reason why is the defensive work is not as what people would expect. You do expect to be very tight and compact which isn't always the case on Football Manager when trying counter-attacking tactics so this one is kind of rewarding personally. You know what I feel to play this Chelsea game spontaneously. I mean it might drag the video a bit if you guys have time. Uh, you know what we're gonna play this game yeah i think we're gonna play this game and as you can see in the everton save as well there is one kind of difference we aren't using prevent short goalkeeper distribution i can't actually tell you the exact reason why hmm. but maybe we can just leave it off for this game and see how the tactic will play out i mean why is calvert lewin an inverted winger there's gray blah 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 yeah that's the oh no let's get up no that's the team there let's play this game against chelsea spontaneously we will we'll leave it on key highlights this time so there's the team talk wrapped up the match preview let's get this game started yeah we're gonna put this game on key highlights we don't want to sit through all of that extended stuff but hey you can see of course chelsea are a better team with atletico madrid we were the more dominant side against Osasuna, so a lot of the times we might not actually have dropped back as deep as we could have, but we can see here once Chelsea have the ball, we do almost have 11 players inside our own box. So again, we're not pressing high. We're not trying to put extreme pressure on the defensive players when they're playing out from the back. We're just gonna allow them to just invite the pressure. And then when it gets into the middle of the pitch is when we're gonna be pressing more intensely especially in the wider areas. Here's Jeremy Mina, is his name Jeremy? Why does, is his name? Just Mina for now. <laughs> Here's Lucas Dinia, the now Aston Villa wing back. Here's Gray in the box, Calvert Lewin and it's one nil to Everton. Come on boys, at Goodison Park, Calvert Lewin, DCL, Arsenal. You might want to sign him up, sign him up son. Here's Lucas Dinia. I mean, we worked this goal very nicely as well. I didn't expect it. But Lucas Dinia, he plays it inside to Gray. I mean, I don't know what is up with the Chelsea defender there. He cuts it in. He plays it square to Calvert-Lewin. It's an easy tap in. It is 1-0 already. I mean, that was the only highlight. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Undone by a set piece. Look, individual area area individual error ah oh, injured mount takes the corner i mean what's keen doing he gets beaten by christensen i'm not exactly sure how chelsea have been the more dominant side but we oh, oh we've just hit the post we've clipped the post 
I think it was a decent save. Oh, it's a goal kick. You can see that we're just kind of holding off the pressure here. And we're now we're getting back into the game. But it's not very or overly aggressive. It's not overly attacking. Not every game we're going to have over 20 shots. It's 1-1 one, one at half time. We scored a decent goal. They scored a set piece. I mean, I feel harshly done by. Look, Michael Keane, he's not really having the best of games at the back there. Let's shout at the defence. Let's encourage the defenders. Confirm shout. Here's Gray now. Godfrey on the ball. Allen plays it back to Mina. Michael Keane. Lucas Dinio. The one thing about the wing back on the defensive duty, because he's not getting further forward, he always finds himself in just acres of space. And does still get further forward, as we can see here. And we saw in the Atletico Madrid game as well. They still do drive down the byline. But when the opportunities... Oh, I thought that was a free ball that was going to make it there. Here is Edward Mendy, Thiago Silva, or Thiago Silva, Rudiger. Let's win that Townsend now. Let's go on a quick break. Calvert-Lewin, Richarlison. We could have went quicker, but I said it crossbar. Oh, my days. The woodwork on this game sometimes is just it's too much. We've hit the woodwork twice. Even Chelsea's hit the woodwork. Ah, oh, that would have been an absolute beauty of a goal. Oh, don't, they're going to score again, aren't they? They're going to score. Gray cuts out the ball. Lucas Dinia now. He finds Calvert-Lewin. Is he going to hold it? Oh, that's a poor pass. Just pass it straight to Lukaku. Plays out to Pulisic. He drives out wide now. He beats Lucas Dinia. Havertz, Godfrey cuts out the ball. Ah, oh, Townsend, why are you kicking it there? He's putting ball pressure on us. Here's Rudiger, Kovacic. Yeah, they're going to score from this. 100%. How comes... Oof. Oof. So they did struggle to create a very good chance there. I mean, they could have scored, but... It wasn't anything clear cut. We still have the better XG slightly. We should be winning this game. But it looks like we're going to escape this game or finish this game with a 1-1. One, one. Oh, come on, Lucas Dinia. Put in a good cross. Yuri Mina! It's two. It's a last minute goal. That goal will surely be decisive. This time, our last goal or our last minute goal will not be disallowed. It has to count this time. Let's make that sub. Let's bring Brent Waite on. Yes, come on, boys. Ooh, drama. Come on, man. We have beaten Chelsea, not at the bridge, at Goodison Park. And there it is, counter-attacking football. Chelsea came to dominate. They had a lot of the ball, 59% of the ball. But we defended very well. They scored from a set piece. So did we, but we scored from open play. And we also hit the bar. I am counting those open play misses as a chance for us but there is the tactic all wrapped up that is the video all wrapped up i mean jesus whoo that was entertainment i was panicking there for a minute as well i was thinking oh if we lose this game i've just shown us lose a game but we won the game in the last minute that wraps up the video that was entertaining i enjoyed that i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have make sure you are subscribed make sure you like the video i can't believe that game make sure you like the video leave a comment i'll speak to you guys soon also if you have any tactical recommendations make sure you leave i'm out of breath make sure you leave it in the comment section Whew. i'll see you guys soon